Hello everybody, so welcome back to my channel and for this video I've decided to do a video on how to cheat your lips to look bigger because sadly we're not all blessed to have nice big full lips like Julia Roberts or I don't know Beyonce so yeah I think the trend at the moment is to have a nice full lip but not everyone wants to pay for surgery and, and you know have lip fillers and everything like that so there are ways that you can cheat it so the tips that I use I wanted to show with you and share with you guys so yeah keep watching to find out. So the first thing that I've done and I always do this is I use my toothbrush or a toothbrush I just use mine because it's clean and you know I don't see anything wrong with that. So the first thing to do that I like so one good tip that I like to do is to use my toothbrush and actually like exfoliate my lips before I put any lipstick or anything on them anyway. You can get like some um, exfoliating lip, lip scrubs, I know Soap and no, um, Lush do really nice ones. Um, yeah, just to scrub your lips, get off any of the dead skin and it also plumps the blood in your lips so it gets them a little bit redder I guess and just plumps them a little bit more than you know how they normally are. It's really good prep for your lips to do that as well if you're wearing like a matte lipstick to get all the, the dry skin off. So um, yeah, that's my first tip. Um, second tip would be to use lip liner. I'm going to show you how to do that, but I'm just um, going to explain what things I like to do. So yeah, lip pencil, lip liner. Without one of these, I wouldn't ever wear lipstick. I always use a lip pencil or a lip liner and I couldn't imagine not, to be honest. So there's some that you can get that are like your natural um, lip colour, so like your lip's a bit better. So Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat's amazing, I think it's Pillow Talk. Um, that's a really good universal lip colour that everyone can use. Um, my favourite is probably Max Saw. Um, I use this all the time. I, I, I use this with nearly every lipstick colour as well, so it's really good for, um, yeah, just alternating lip colours. It's really just to make my lips look better. Um, so if you're going to do like a red lip, use a red lip pencil liner, maybe a little bit darker, so you're doing a bit of ombre, so you have, you've got like a darker shade around the edge and then go in with a, like a nice red colour, that's really good, like in the centre. Um, also it makes your lipstick stay on longer. Um, my next tip would be to use a lip plumper. So the lip plumper that I use is the Se Sexy Mother Pucker by Soap and Glory. You can get so many of these. There are so many brands out now that are lip plumpers. Some tingle, some don't. Uh, most of them tingle, um, but I, I quite like the feeling anyway. You can get some that aren't as strong. So this is XXL. I think you can get some that aren't um, as strong and don't make your lips so plump. So, um, yeah, that's really good. The only downer is sometimes if you don't want to wear lip gloss, you sort of have to because they only really come in lipstick form. Um, and the next thing that I like to, uh, I use, I mean, I bought this, I bought this pack of three. I bought these, like, two years ago now, and these are the Four Lips, um, lip sex, like, suckers, I guess they are, and there was a huge craze on this, and on my old YouTube channel, I'd done a tutorial of this, and I, form I filmed it, like, on my iPad, and it wasn't great quality, and, um, I suppose, I, like, I didn't really know what I was doing with it, but, like, now, if I ever want to use this, I, I know how to, for a start, um, I like to use it before I put my lip liner on, so then when I've used it, and my lips are a little bit more plumper, I've, I can do more of a line, and it doesn't look so drawn on, because as much as I love lip pencil and lip liner, sometimes when you've got that contrast of, like, brown, like, really 90s, and then boom, lipstick, you can really see that they've lined. Oh, and also, an another thing is, get your top lip wax, so if you've got, I think I need mine doing, actually, if you've got hair on your top lip, I find when you're overlining them, you're just drawing on the hair. So make sure you get your top lip waxed or use hair removal, but just professionally see someone. Don't just try and do it yourself because you could hurt yourself or even get it threaded. Um, yeah, that's another thing that you should do because otherwise it's really visible then that you are overdrawing your lips because you can see hair and I hate that. So that's another tip. So I'm going to show you what I would do. Um, I'm going to start off using the Four Lips lip plumper so they've got a website I can link that down below so you guys can have a little look at that these were on a massive craze like because yeah so because of like Kylie Jenner and Kim Kardashian and everyone wanted bigger lips this product just went crazy like on YouTube on social media so I kind of got drawn into it like everyone does with you know videos and stuff everyone gets drawn into buying products but I actually really like it I struggle to use it because I don't have big lips anyway so my top lip 
it's smaller than my bottom lip um, and I can't actually keep it on when I do it this way which I think is the way you're supposed to do it but I think you can do it like this so that's how I do it so I'm going to show you guys how I do it and then just go through with you how I make my lips look bigger basically you're supposed to I can't talk can I put it on and then suck in some air and you should be able to suck in and it should get suction and you should be able to let go so this is how I would do it so I'll show you before So I definitely think it's made a difference. And they say if you keep doing it every day, your lips will gradually get bigger and bigger. So I've done that once and when I smile they feel plumper. I'm going to do it again one more time. I can definitely feel it like, you know if you just put a glass on your face and you like suck it off, it's a bit like that. I'm going to do it again. So I definitely think they're more plumper. They feel more plumper. I think it's quite good. So when I'm... Obviously it will bugger up your foundation a little bit. Okay, so that's done. I'm now going to go on with some um, lip pencil. The colour that I'm going to use, I'm going to do two different um, looks. So this is going to be... Um, like a pinky tone. So I'm going to use my Mac Saw lip pencil and um, let's have a look. So I always do this sort of shape. So if you can see, I'm doing actually underneath. I think you can see that difference, they look way, way more plumper. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this pinky colour. And this is matte, this is by NYX, I've used this before. So I go right up to the line where I've drawn on. What do you guys think? It's definitely fuller, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to tone that down and then I'm going to do um, like a more of a neutral colour and then pop the pillow plump over the top to see what look I can get with that. I'm going to leave the liner that I've done and go on with this more of a neutral colour.
Okay, so that's a little bit more neutral. And then I'm gonna pop on some of my gloss. I love this. This is my absolute favorite and I love the color. I really should have waxed my top lip because it's like on the hairs. So that is with the gloss. So I think you can do this pretty much with any sort of lip colour. I quite like to do, um, use the Max Saw and then use like a clear lip gloss. It looks really nice with like a nice plump look, um, lip look and then like no eyeshadow, lots of blusher. But yeah. So that is my little trick of how I get my lips to look bigger. So you can see before that they were totally not looking like this. Um, but yeah, I do think this Four Lips product is really good. Um, they're not too expensive, they're obviously going to last you forever. But you have to not be silly with them. So you have to be careful because you can bruise your lips, so you do have to be careful. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video guys, and I hope it gave you some tips as well. Um, and any more videos that you'd like to see, please leave me comments down below, and please subscribe to my channel, and share my, my um, page if, that's, if you could. Um, but yeah, thank you ever so much for watching guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!